Democrats' anti-ICE and Antifa protesters so political unrest, some Democrats continue to ramp up their rhetoric against the Trump administration. One America's Jacob DeMille has this report. There have been a total of four confrontations in front of immigration facilities within the past month, including an attack on an ICE center in San Antonio, Texas, in which a gunman allegedly fired rounds into multiple buildings. The suspected perpetrator was later arrested following a joint operation by local officials and the FBI. And, according to FBI investigators, this was most likely a targeted attack, with the bullets only barely missing federal employees inside at the time. Who, well, although they were not hit by the rounds fired, by the grace of God, had the bullets gone two inches in another direction, we could be here today talking about the murder of a federal official. In another incident in Tacoma, Washington last month, a self-described Antifa activist took aim at an ICE detention center by throwing what was described as incendiary devices at vehicles outside the facility. The suspect, who was armed with a rifle and propane tank, was eventually shot and killed by police following a brief confrontation. And, according to ICE's former acting director, Tom Homan, if the man succeeded in burning down the center, over 1,000 lives could have been taken. Meantime, many Democrats on Capitol Hill have made it a point to stay silent on the attacks, rather than condemning the behavior caused by radical far-left ideologies. They firebombed an American facility. Will you condemn them? Will you be condemning them? Do you feel like you have some responsibility in the attack with your rhetoric about concentration camps? See, will you condemn them for that? I mean, can, firebombing a concentration camp is kind of a laudable thing if it actually is a concentration camp. You must be happy that they did it, no? Are you pleased? Should more people do it? It's easy to say no. Further, during a vigil for the victims of the El Paso and Dayton shootings this month, which left over two dozen people dead, AOC decided to take the opportunity to ramp up her divisive rhetoric against President Trump and conservatives. When we allude to people as an invasion, as an infestation, we are directly, we are directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. Directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. So I don't want to hear the question, is this president racist anymore? He is. Despite the constant attacks against the president over his rhetoric, he was quick to condemn white supremacy and racism following the massacres. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. So, as Democrats continue to point the finger at President Trump, it seems they've spent little time weeding out the radicals on the left. Jacob DeMille, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.